It's like a dream within a dream His heart beats like a hammer Like the back beat of a song And the fire burns within And he knows he don't belong But he must be strong He's a mercenary man introduce you to your Master of Ceremony, Ronald Sotheby. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight is truly a marvelous occasion for we, a select, privileged few, to witness the unveiling of the most precious and the largest diamond to come from the continent of Africa. Larger than the hoop, more spectacular than the column. Measured at 526 carats. It is a great pleasure to present to you the Verbeek Diamond. And now, what better way to mark this festive occasion than to salute it with a bottle of champagne? Michael Gold, American. Are you here for pleasure or business, Mr. Gold? A little bit of both, I might say. What kind of business do you do? People management and conduct behavior modification. That sounds very interesting and dangerous work. Let's put it this way. I'll always have a job. Trouble is, are you always able to do the job? You wouldn't happen to know where I could get a good Cuban cigar, would you? You Americans, with your sense of humor, it kills you. Actually, we have found it. 
Who are you? And how do you know me? My name is Michael Gold. I represent a group of concerned citizens in the United States. Sir. Oh. You're fond of birds. Yes. Yes, I have an affinity for them. My daughter works... What a strange approach. What do you want, young man? We want to help you. The... Uh, the Americans, you mean? And how much are they willing to pay? You want money? Americans always seem to think that people want money. There are other things. Such as? Freedom. Ah, freedom. <laughs> Your people will keep me locked up for years. And while they pick my brains, the Star Wars program grows. And I will make my contribution to destroy mankind. No, thank you. I want to build, not destroy. You have special talents and abilities, sir. Your research can't fall into the wrong hands. It will not. It will be all here. Exactly. And we want to keep it there. Are you acquainted with theoretical physics? No. I specialized in recess and girls. Ah, very funny. But you see, I want to stop dreaming about fire from heaven and melting men. Lasers. In America, you could write your own ticket. I guarantee it. <laughs> Then I think we can talk. I'll take your request back to my employers. I'm sure they'll say yes. It would not be too long, my boy. Why? Eh, old age. Expect your cooperation, Professor. Fine. Fine. <laughs> Muy bien, con Bencano. So sorry to wake you like this, Mr. Gold. You look a little nauseous. No, I'm fine. Fine. You're in prison to vanish. The People's Court has found you guilty of crimes against humanity. I don't remember a trial. <laughs> you better sleep. What charges? Treason, espionage. The death penalty. Hey. Execution is a dawn tomorrow. We will say goodbye then. Unless... Unless what? No, no, you're not the type. Forget I mentioned it. What's the offer? Television. A life appearance. You tell the world you're a spy working for America. I don't work for America. No. I work for money. <laughs> In a socialist state. A present from the King of Belgium, 1907. Blade needs sharpening. Don't try to be funny to me, Mike. I won't sell in public. What did you do to the professor? You should only be concerned about tomorrow morning. Let's go, Mr. Gold. Ha ha, they're going to cut off your head, manana. Schneller, bitte, go. Schneller, bitte, go. 
key, young key. Get back. Failure. You lost Braun. You don't know where he is. You don't know who got him. What didn't you do wrong? I didn't get killed. Hold it. Just cut the dialogue, Gold. You got lucky. Especially considering that this is the first assignment you had for this office. You told me to contact Braun, ask him his price to defect, and report back. I did my job. Pay me and let me get the hell out of here? Kiss my ass. No! You didn't tell me who he was or why he was so important. You people blew this operation from the start. Braun is perhaps the world's leading expert in laser weaponry. And his presence in the Gavango means that the Soviet bloc is planning some sort of laser mission that could tip the balance of power on the entire African continent. Why didn't you tell me this before? You still would have fucked it up. You and me. Anytime. That's enough. We didn't tell you, Michael, because you're a freelancer. Freelancers have a nasty habit of changing sides. I don't. We don't know that. He's right. For all we know, you've already shot Braun to the highest bidder. That didn't happen. Prove it. How? Bring him back. Are you insane? That's a suicide mission. I'm a wanted man in Cavando. They want to cut my head off. They got company. Let's say I get him back. What's in it for me? I want more than just a boost in my CIA credit rating. One million dollars. Too much. Don't no second guess me, damn it. Anybody could have fraud now. He's got a very dangerous mind. We need him under our control or dead. I like the old man. You like a million dollars better. Yeah, 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 and I'd like to be able to sleep nights without worrying about some terrorist group shooting airliners out of the sky with lasers. I'm telling you, I want Braun on a plane to Washington or I want him on a slab. I'll do it. But not for you. And not for the money. Come on, you're only in it for the money. No. The old man wanted to go to America, and I gave him my word that he would. You're just a government flunky, Callaway. I don't know why I expect you to understand that. Fair enough. Contact his daughter, Alyssa. She's a doctor of veterinary medicine. She's in Kuwana. And she's KGB. <laughs> you know, you guys really know how to win friends and influence people. Let's just see who gets to him first.
por favor. Aquí. Just see. Who fell out of the tree? Wrong. What do you just see? Nada, El Capitan. Correct. What is your name? Manuel, El Capitan. Manuel. I remember that name. Where's your sergeant, Manuel? I am the sergeant. What will you tell your superiors about all this? Uh, nada, El Capitan, nada. Good work. Whose jeep is that? Howard's with the... Whose jeep is that? What jeep? That's the right answer, hmm? You have potential, Manuel. You man, take this off the jeep. Attention! Without our jeep. What jeep, you loco? Presidential Suite, 1,000 punches a night. Hmm. Just be the Cuban governor. When you are gone, maybe you can make some money. You say he was headed towards Luanda? See, si, Comrade Colonel. See, si, Comrade Colonel. He is a great fool. I have a job for you, too. And when it is done, I shall pluck out Mikhail Goh's eyes with my fingers. to see your father before he vanished. Michael Brown. At your service. Go ahead, call him. Don't expect him to help you find your father. Your photographs don't do you justice. Meet me tonight at 9, the Nianza restaurant. And wash your hands first. You won't recognize me. Yep, I will. I 
not going to recognize this gold. Yes, you will. What if we touch the wrong hombre? They're going to kill him anyway. And we get a reward. You're going to recognize this gold when you see him. Six five and four four three. Push on, push on. Caramba! Give me outpost one. Face to outpost one. Come in, please. Colonel, outpost one does not answer my transmissions. I will go there myself. Muchas gracias, madre. Número uno. You idiots! Gold is in the professor's apartment! Move! Quickly! Come on, come on! dropped in to say bon appetit. So tell me, why should I trust you? I'm someone who wants to help you find your father. My father? I think that my father's dead. That's possible. Mm. But I'll find out if you'll help me. When I want to flirt, I'll tell you. <laughs> All right. Alyssa, I'm going to find your father. <laughs> That's if they don't kill you first. That's my problem. Yeah, well, it's my problem, too, if I help you. Did he discuss his work with you? No. We talked about birds and music, life. Never about his work. Who would he have discussed his work with? Professor Rice, perhaps? His colleague and his closest friend. All right. Where do we find this Professor Rice? <laughs> we. We're partners, remember? Oh. Am I worth 100,000 for one of two? I never put price tags on women. It's much more fun taking them off. Some things come off very easily. Such as? Such as? Your head, if you don't stick to business. Let's go find Professor Rice, shall we? Oh. Such 
such a gentleman. Such a bitch. I was right. My father's dead, just like him. I think your father's alive. And I know just where to look for him. Come on. Come on. You mean a charging rhino? No. Marauders are only good for killing men. You drive. You'll be sorry. In the violence of the night Will you hear the silent scream? He only knows where he is going to be It's like the dream within a dream His heart
sergeant? You are no sergeant. You are a woman. Look, I have always been a woman. Un momento, señorita. Where did you learn to drive like that? Long story. Very long story. Well, we got nothing but time. south, towards your father, away from this country. I don't suppose there's time to change clothes, huh? No, they'll have our apartment staked out. Let me ask you something. Do all your dates wind up like this? We should reach the border by dawn. Just what I thought. my price. You see its beauty. Like all of your trophies, another monument to bloodshed. Not so. You too have one of my prizes. And I took you without bloodshed. I am sorry to spoil your record. Bloodshed has been your life's work as well. Just more sophisticated. I have put that life behind me. You will do what I tell you. If I would not work for the Russians, what makes you think I would work for you? I don't give you other choice. I would rather die. Die? <laughs> Professor, come, I show you something. Think of this room and your daughter in it. What kind of monster are you? Pleasant dreams? Sleep for a couple hours. We're almost there. There where? The border to Namibia, where your father is. What makes you so sure? Remember what Rice said before he died? Look for broad skeleton. Right. And just south of here is the most miserable, burning, parched stretch of God-forsaken desert in the world. The natives call it Skeleton Coast. You always take me to such fun places. <laughs>
They're going to see us coming. Yes. And they'll have been warned about us. Well, isn't there any other way across? Not unless we can fly. What about if we wait until nightfall and then hit him? Clock's running out. There's no time. You drive. So what's for dinner? Sand. Actually, you're looking pretty good today. You know, your sense of timing is terrible. <laughs> I didn't mean it as a man doll, I meant it as a meal. Oh. Well, you're too tired to try and kill me anyway. This is true. Can I ask you a personal question? We'll be dead by morning. Sure, go ahead. You carry a gun, and you're not afraid to use it. You can outdrive the best of them. Would you just get to the personal question? Who are you, and who are you working for? I'm Alyssa Braun. Who do you think I am? I'm hot, I'm tired, I'm hungry, and I'm thirsty, and I've been walking around in these high heels all day, and I have blisters on my feet. And quit asking me such stupid questions, all right? And let me tell you something else, Buster. You're not my idea of a dream date, asshole. That's Mr. Asshole to you. We will head south so that Comrade Eckert and his men can do what they do best. Remember, whoever brings me Mikhail Gold gets the reward. The woman goes to you, Eckert, regardless. It'll be a pleasure, Comrade.
Hello. Hey, hey. My hands are empty. We come as friends, not folks. We're just I trying... know you are. How do you know? News travels fast, even in the desert. Now, you hear there's a certain Mr. Eckhart and some of his friends are real anxious to talk to you. So much so that he's willing to pay a price. Well, if you know all that, then you know that we need your help. We'll pay you. We'll, we'll do anything. Well, hold on there, Missy. I don't fancy having anything to do with Mr. Eckhart. I uh, do quite well scratching for diamonds out here. Well, then you'll help us? If you just help us get to a civilized area. We'll sleep on that tonight. Quite safe for now. We'll talk in the morning. the miner? I thought he said that he was going to help us. Maybe he helped you already, and I just don't know about it. I'm sorry for being so difficult on you. It's just that I'm scared and, and I'm worried about the professor. And... You mean your father, right? Yeah, my father. Look, I'm trying to apologize. What do you want me to do? Get down on my knees? That would be nice.
Where's a horse? You want to give me a hand to help me find a horse? Well, um, exactly. How would you like me to do that? This is not my day. I'll look at it this way. Things could be worse. At least we're in this together. You know, somehow I failed to find that reassuring. Who do you work for? I dare you to do that again. Now, you were about to tell me who you work for. Uh, Eckhart. Dieter Eckhart. All right. Who is he? He's a very dangerous man. Hunter, tracker, soldier of fortune. You name it, he buys, sells, trades. Where do I find this Eckhart? He comes from little Austria, a place called Swakop. Ask anyone. I knew our luck was going to change. What are you doing? Park him around the corner. Good day, sir. Good day to you. Lady? Well? What can I do for you? Well, my wife and I were thinking of going on a safari. What a splendid idea. We were wondering if you could recommend a guide for us. Mm, no, 
your total friend, but I will, I will, I will find one. Well, what about that guy that, um, uh, what was his name? What? Was his Eckhart? Name? Yes. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Uh, I get, uh, he has retired. Oh. I'll go tonight and see what I can find under cover of darkness. And what's his name? Hello? My wife and I have been on the road for some time. How long would it take you to have a suit pressed? Yeah, a dress as well. Three hours? Could you make that five hours? open. Thank you. Which room? Which room? Tell me! Yes? Hello. Where are you? I've been worried. I'm about 20 miles out of town. Listen, I've got good news about Kalishnikov. What about Kalishnikov? He's dead. You killed him? With pleasure. Why don't you head for Edcart's and I'll meet you back at the hotel after I've cleaned up. Yeah, yeah. I'll see you then. Listen. Superb, my dear. To be killed like you said, 
with honor is indeed a pleasure. I shall repay in kind. Good morning. You came to rescue me? <laughs> One dinosaur chasing another, eh? I suppose that's why we're here. The diamond and my skill have brought us all together, yes. I did my homework on your blueprint of the laser weapon system. Ah. My compliments on your detective ability. They brought me where I am today. You see, with the Virbeck diamond and my laser, I can create a nuclear weapon. The combination of the two makes my knowledge invaluable to the one who controls its forces. Dieter Eckhart? I'm not sure. But whoever uses it can start World War III. Gold? We meet. I'd love to shake hands. <laughs> I've been studying you during the last few days. You'll be fun to play with. You better do better than your boys in the desert. I promise. I think you know my partner, don't you? I heard you were dead. You trusted the woman. You fool. My dear professor, I'm sad, but I must inform you that your most lovely daughter is now in our hands. This makes your continued cooperation essential. Take the girl to the mine and close up shop. I'll join you later. And leave you with Braun and the diamonds. This trust is a very dangerous thing in a partnership. Take it. Goodbye, Michael. We have a tradition, Mr. Gold. I never kill an intruder before giving him a sporting chance. You, you would appreciate that room. <laughs> I prefer not being added to your list of trophies. Not even people and their vices. The need for power. By people and power, you mean slaves. <laughs> My friend, you have always the right answer. 
know exactly what you are thinking. You want me to stop rescuing that girl, right? <laughs> I intend to kill you and rescue the professor and the girl. Ah. <laughs> Do you know where the mine is? I, I, I think so. Peter Roberta, you must not be doing this. I must help the Yankee, or we all will be killed. Well, I have a plan. the dynamite in the mine. That's your order. Good. Now, gather the slaves, put them in the mine, seal it off for good. We're leaving soon. Diamonds are a girl's best friend, I'm told. Not this girl. Suppose your friend is Michael Gold. I suppose. <sighs> it's time to make new friends. Since he's been dead for almost a while. Woman. I like breaking them. What does it mean? 
They said they were closing up shop. And, and killing the witnesses? Schweinhund. They had my daughter down there. No way for a woman to act. I will take care of you. Something else you're gonna like. I'll take care of our little Russian friend here. Be bitten by a woman. Ah! 
You must not be doing this. Vamos. Like in the movies. You kill me with your stupid. I knew you could do it. You did? Didn't you? I never really gave it much thought. Secure the vehicle. I'll take care of your daughter. Secure the vehicle. <laughs> in the sun too long, my boy? You know who I am. No, 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 not you. The, uh, the two behind you. Oh, they are my two, uh, amigos. <laughs> they stole our vehicle, and they, uh, they almost run me over. But there is my daughter. I thought she was your daughter. That is not my Liebchen. I have never seen her before in my life. Let's just say I'm your um, guardian angel sent to look after you. Prentice sent you? That dirty, no good son of a. And who are you guys? This is Michael Gold! See, si, Michael Gold. I am Michael Gold. Oh. So. How, How do, do you, you do, do Michael, Michael Gold? Gold?
chin. Oh, my little virgin. Well, it appears you pulled it off, Cole. Well done, Zephyr. Zephyr? You two haven't been formally introduced, then. Oh, no. We've met. But we're only now getting to know each other. When do I get paid? When do we get paid? Well, the good news is that the money's been positive as usual. The bad news is that the both of you have to split it. Uh, we are in a hurry to talk to the professor. Uh, you can organize yourself some transport, can't you? At first, Michael, I want to thank you for all that you have done. A pleasure, sir. I shall see you again. <laughs> and the other fellow. I think they can find their own transport. Depends on who's asking. Well, whoever has it will have a strong bargaining position. I got it. But who's the rightful owner? You're looking at him. There's the price tag. 